Hello, today we're going to continue off our last tutorial, show you how to insert manually a couple of the APIs, so the camera and the notifications, and then we'll also extract it uh, to an APK file so you can load this directly on your phone versus your uh, virtual device. Alright, we'll start by going to Clips, go File, New, we'll say Project, we'll drop down the Android folder and click Android Project from Existing Code. I extracted my PhoneGap uh, zip from the PhoneGap web page into my D drive and I just created an Android folder here. See PhoneGap. And there you have two folders, documents and library. In library we're developing an Android app, so we'll select that and I'm gonna click on the example folder. And that would be the example project we want to select. So we click finish. Alright, we drop this down. Some of this should look familiar. Again in the assets folder, that's where we'll find our index.html and this is where you'll find the uh, landing page of the application. Uh, I'm actually going to uh, copy that and paste it, renaming it index old, just in case I want to refer to it later. And for the index page, what I'm going to do is right click, open with text editor, and here you'll see um, the code that generates this page here. Let's open up um, PhoneGap.com. We'll go to the Developer Documents. So if we want to use a notification function on the phone, you click here. This is all the documentation you'll need. I'm actually going to scroll down to the full example. And I can just copy and paste this. And going back to our index file, I'm going to delete all the code that was created in the example. I'm going to paste the code exactly right out of the API. So I'll save that and we'll test it with our virtual device. So I'll select my virtual device to start. I'll unlock our screen here. And you see eventually it loads our app. So if you click show alert you'll see our notification. Close this. Now let's go back to uh, PhoneGap.com and we'll click on the documentation for the camera API. And there's also a full text down there as well. Uh, there's, they have lots of comments if you want to really figure out and research uh, what's going on. But we're just going to copy, go back to our index file, replace the uh, notification uh, provided code so now we're going to test the camera feature. Let's save that. Now instead of uh, testing it through the virtual device, this time uh, let's test it uh, on our phone. So I'm going to plug in my phone and I'm going to go to Window, Preferences, and then on the Android build, uh, you'll want to uh, make sure you copy this, the default debug keystone because we need that a little bit later. So now if you right click on the project and you say export, you select export Android application, click next. You have your project name here, just click next. And then use existing keystone. So we're gonna paste um, what we just copied and the password is Android, it's by default. And then you'll select the alias uh, Android debug key. Again, the password is Android. Click Next, and this will be your destination uh, APK file. And we're just going to put it um, right in my Android folder. We'll save and then finish. All right. So if I go to that folder. see the file just saved. One little trick here though is, oh good, make sure you have the .apk and we can actually rename this to make it a little bit uh, more friendly. Let's see, call it WP Camera Test. We'll go back to my computer and if you'll see my phone is attached I'll just simply drag this new file, the APK file to my phone. Alright, now to the phone. 
first go to settings and you go to applications and make sure that you check unknown sources that way we can in install our unknown application then we'll go back and we'll want to go to I installed a file manager so I can actually see the files on the phone so go to file manager now go all the way down and you'll see our WP camera test right there click on that guy we'll install application installed we'll click open so let's capture editable photo so take a picture of our messy kitchen We'll go to done. And there you have our photo. Very cool. Well, enjoy. Thanks for your patience. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers.